level that um, I aspire to be. Um, you know, if I, as, as um, Tony Harrison said before, if, if I can't beat him, then I don't deserve the shot. Quite, that's quite simple, and I, and I agree with that. You know, if, uh, if I can't compete at that top level, um, then I shouldn't be fighting for the undisputed, but I think I should, in my eyes. Uh, look, there's always something to work on. I think uh, it was uh, a patient performance. I was um, patient. I was trying to. I knew what he what he had, and I was trying to read it. He he was very good at, at what he does, so it was hard to, to to get it. But I wanted to get to those later rounds and and and, and see. Not verbal. I hope I hope I showed the message. You know. I think I started off good. Um, the middle the middle rounds. I think I. He started feeling that um, what he's good at. He gets into this groove and he moves around, flicks the jab, um, and he doesn't let you set up. And I was sort of come, trying to come in with that one shot, but I started landing a little bit. Um, I was, I think, I, I think I was, I think I was landing the cleaner, cleaner, harder shots. Uh, but he was, he was very consistent at, and and with his movement, very, very, very sound at what he does. Yeah, I could see it. I could see him um, like. Thinking inside, you know, I didn't want to step step on the gas too too quick. Um, the the ending, I could see the difference, but in the earlier rounds, I could see he was he wasn't. I think he was hurt, but he wasn't. Um, but he was still aware of everything. Um, he's sharp, very sharp, and very very. Um, his IQ is very very high up there. Oh, I, I I've seen um. A completely different fighter, not well, not completely different, just a sharper fighter than than the fighter I saw fight Terrell. So he's rapidly getting better, man. Um, um, yeah, yeah, they're doing a good job with the kid, man. He's rapidly getting better. Um, his time and his his reaction is very good. So yeah, that's a good thing for him. His, he he reacts very good. Um, I I can't answer how that's gonna go, but you know, like I said, they they got a guy that just beat me so. All I can say is he's up for the challenge. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, you know what, man? I, I don't know, man. This boxing shit hard, man. Uh, I've been doing this shit since I was five, man. So um, I think Alf even put me in a position to come over here to enjoy a fight in Australia um, against a, a worthy opponent like Tim. And, um, you know, just believing in me to come over here and step up and, 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 and you know, just believe I would have took over the challenge like I believed in myself. And, you know, my brother gave me all the right instructions. Um, preparation was good. Charles Conwell was amazing sparring for the fight. Um, you know, and, you know, my brother had the game plan, man. It just, sometimes you get in there, man, you forget that shit. So, man, the better man won. Of course, there's. Of course, there's thoughts like that that come through, you know. Um, you don't know whether you're a shark until you swim with the sharks, you know. You, again, um, everyone, my my career's unfolded step by step, um, and each each step I've I've had to face, I've had to I've had to pick it up, and um, you never know until you until you're faced with something like that, and that's that's uh, that's my mentality at all times. I was going to go all the way to the top, very, very top, and see how far I can go. And that's what I'd keep doing. I keep challenging myself. Um, and when I got presented an opportunity like Charlo, I wasn't going to back down. Of course, I'm going to, I'm going to take something like that. And then when I get presented an opportunity such as Tony Harrison, of course, I'm going to take it, even if Charlo's next. You know, it's 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 part of uh, my boxing mentality to to test myself and take on the the very, very best um, out there. Sorry. Um, this is an interim belt. <laughs> um, the champ has to be beaten, and he's got all four belts. So um, it's just a little step part of my journey. But the the real the real undisputed for me is uh, is, is is beating Charlo. Look, it's a good f again. Um, don't get too high on your wins, and don't get too lows on your losses. So um, this is just another step to to where I want to be, and. Um, this this boxing journey is incredible, man. I've been I went to America for 10 weeks. Now, I'm, I'm only 28 years old, young, and I'm enjoying myself. Um, yeah, it's 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 
it's not the, the destination, it's the journey and the process that goes through it. And uh, I'm loving every minute of it. I grind, I grind hard, I train hard, uh, I do everything correctly. So um, I'm a true athlete at first, so I'm just enjoying the process. I w yeah, I think even like um, the dedication I put in, you know, little things. I, I never went to bed past 9, 9 p.m., you know. 9, 9 p.m. Was, was my shout-out. It was, it was always like that, you know, and um, the dedication I put into this camp, even the media stuff I had to do, um, me and the media manager were blueing over little things, like he's trying to make me go here and there, and I'm, and I'm so consistent at what I'm doing, you know, and, uh, and I think that's what plays a part. None of this is possible without winning. If you lose, you go, you go to the very bottom back again for, for myself. So uh, winning for me, any option, and I, and I put my whole craft into it. I think uh, Tim just need to um, keep gradually getting better a day at a time. Um, that's all it's about. I mean, young enough, he's 28. Um, you know, I wish I would have fought him four years ago. You know what I mean? He got youth on his side. Not that much youth, but he got youth on his side. So just continue, continue to get better, you know what I mean? Don't, if, if you ask me, don't wait on Charlo. Um, just try to stay active, because that's the only way you get better. That's the only way you stay, that's the only way you stay, that's the only way you get better is if you stay consistent, so. Um, just keep finding ways to be consistent, no matter who they put in front of them. It could be, you don't gotta be top 10 guys, but just, you know, keep them in the ring and stay consistent and just wait on the shot. I mean, he's still basic, he just, he just beat me. Um, like I said, uh, he, he, he definitely a lot sharper than I saw his last fight, and that, that goes down to his training, trainers, and um, you know he, he improved, man. He he's an improved fighter from a Terrell Goucher fight, man. He he's sharp, he's sharp, man. But um, yeah, like I said, we knew exactly what was gonna happen. And, like we, you know, he did nothing over that we didn't think that he would do. Like I said, preparation was good, sparring was good, camp was good. So, better man won. No, nothing else behind that. Better man won. Yeah, man. Um, getting hit in my face all the time, man. That's that's not a that's not a that's not what I want to, you know, do for the next five six years. So, um, I got a great job training, um, the champ. Um, so, yeah, man. I don't know, man. Uh, I'm gonna sit back and talk with my brother. My brother first, but it's my dog. So if I, if I if I did decide to do it, people would stay on my DM. No more trainer, no different trainer, no different city, no different gym. I'm gonna rock. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start it how I finish it, and I'm gonna finish it how I started. So um, if I do decide to keep going, this is gonna be the same team. This is gonna be where it ends at. So um, yeah, I'm gonna just sit back and talk with my brother, man. Other than that, man. Nah. I got a gym, super bad fitness, man. That we training all the kids in, man. So we training our next guy to be able to come over here and maybe fight one of Tim's co-partner amateurs right now. So um, yeah, um, it was an amazing, amazing experience, Tim. Um, promoter, manager, trainer. It was an amazing experience, man, and I appreciate it, man. And uh, yeah, man, all I'm gonna do now is ask my outfit off to the best bidder so I can get my roof fixed in my gym. That's next. And if, if I can just say a few things on behalf of everyone in Australia, I think, I think we're very grateful for Team Harrison for coming over. I think you've been great for Australian boxing. You've been great for, for the sport. Um, and it's been really entertaining. So I think that, that you're, you're great for boxing and you're great for this fight here in Australia. So thank you to Team Harrison, PBC, and everybody who came across. <laughs> Uh, look, I, I think I think seeing Tim take it to another level, um, we've always seen him step up. The harder his competition gets, the better he gets. And I think tonight we saw that he's at that level. And I think being a, able to get the opportunity to share a ring with Tony Harrison and show that um, you know he was well above what everybody thought he was at. He's ready for that next one. He's ready for undisputed. Uh, this sport is you can you can grow, keep growing no matter what. I'm still on 20%. Probably 20. No, I'm on 20%. I still got, I got a lot more to go. I don't think Charlo is running scared. We're fighters. We don't, we don't run scared from no one. 
It's just part of our mentality. There's no, no such thing as being scared. If he wants to move up, then so be it. Uh, look, it all comes down to, to him and his recovery. I know if I asked Tim when he wants the fight, he would say tomorrow or any time soon. Um, he'll be ready to go um, quite soon. I think we'll, we'll sit down and have a, have a yarn together this week and, um, yeah, get ready for, for what's next. But it will come down to when Charlo's ready. But as soon as he's ready, so is Tim Zhu. Charlo's a real angry man. <laughs> That's just how he is. He barks a lot. Um, Tony, on the other hand, he's a happy man, happy at what he does, enjoys life a bit more. The other guy's just grumpy all the time. Uh, I don't know how that, what that feels like. <laughs> but it would be good to just enjoy myself for, for a week or so, and then um, I'll probably... I'll, I'll, I, I train everywhere, man. That's the problem. A, I'm sick in the head in, that, in terms of that. There was, there was never no bad, bad blood between us, man, ever. Um, and I said, uh, I can show him around Australia one day, and hopefully he can tr show me around Detroit one day. So hopefully it's still up. <laughs> I'm super proud of both the boys tonight, Nikita and Tim. Uh, two from two for the zoo. We'll take that. Um, but I'd also like to say thank you to Tony and his team. I mean, honestly, could you come across two better sales representatives or people that uh, have their best interest of boxing at heart? There's two of them sitting right here opposite us. So... Uh, we're very grateful for those opportunities, but um, as we said, there were plenty who said that this was a silly, stupid reward, a risk v reward, uh, but Tim's a fighter, first and foremost, and we don't ever forget that, and he'll continue to stay busy and fight, and uh, I guess for George and myself and Tim now, we, we go into round two of Charlo um, and start planning uh, that one, and who knows, Tony, we might come knocking on Detroit for a, some, uh, for a camp for Charlo, because you did beat the man. <laughs> My man, listen to me. I'm all honored to be any help or service to anybody. Like I said, I, I'm, I have no ill feelings towards Tim. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed fight week. I enjoyed pressure. Tim is still a good, yeah, a good dude. Like I said in the beginning, man, it's no hard feeling between me and him. So anywhere I could be of service to uh, anybody that's gonna help me in my situation out. You know what I mean? like. Well, whatever, whatever pays the bills for that roof is all I care about. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's all I care I'm about. I'm sure we'll be, we'll be having a chat because uh, Charlo's no easy pushover and uh, no, the, phone hasn't stopped, the phones haven't stopped since the end of this fight for people wanting front row tickets for Vegas. So it, we're, we're, we're off and running for uh, Charlo and I'm sure George and Maddie and, and just on the last thing, uh, you all seen firsthand tonight just how good this event was, it was amazing. I've been in this game 30 years and I've been to some of the biggest fights ever. That's as good as it gets. That atmosphere was awesome and I'm glad Tony got to experience what the Australians have to offer and he'll go back to America and say, you know what, they're a good bunch of people but geez, they love their sport. And kudos to the, the, the Rose brothers and, um, and we go again. So stay tuned and we'll keep everybody in, in tune as to what's next and when. And thank you so much everyone for your support.